Guys, how you guys there is going? It's your boy Bats. Just made it out here to the scrapyard on this beautiful Thursday, January the 4th, the fourth day into the new years. And uh, I just made it in with a scrap metal load. I say I weighed in about 1,400 pounds, so not bad for this Tuesday, for this Thursday, excuse me. Did get a chance to get out here yesterday and get a load. Everything was kind of slow, very cold yesterday, so I kind of stopped early and kind of took it in and uh, kind of got me a break for yesterday. Got a little rest. And uh, so I'm back out here today and got a nice little load. Uh, got everything loaded up on here. I'm going to show you guys this low, but how you guys day is going. I hope you guys day is going good. hope you guys have been blessed today. I hope a lot of positivity going on in your life. Uh, I'd like to send out blessings to you guys. Uh, I hope that you guys manifest whatever you're looking for in life and uh, so on and so on, man. 2024, as we come into this, you know, we're still into the beginning of this new year, is that uh, everything begin to go your way. I know a lot of comments... Um, Last year, a lot of people, I gave out some motivational uh, words, and a lot of people said I needed that, man. And uh, I just want to give you another motivational word, man. Keep your head up and keep pushing forward. Don't stop. Do not stop pushing forward. No matter what you do, keep pushing every day. Because the number one ingredient in being successful in life is being consistent. That's it. You be consistent, man. You can have whatever you want in life. No one can deter that. No one can change that. It's up to you to make that decision. What you do with your life and where you going with your life because it's all boiled down to you. It don't matter what your mama did. It don't matter what your father did. It don't matter what your brother did, what your sister did, what your family history is. No matter what they done, it's up to you to make that whole. It's up to you because your success story relies on you. Your legacy begins with you. Nobody else. So, yeah, that's what I want to leave you guys with for the motivational speech. Uh, anywho, I got something I want to tell you guys. Something that kind of intrigued me, man. Uh, it was this. I was looking at this show last night. It was this multimillionaire. I think this gentleman worth about. He has a net worth about three to four hundred million dollars, right? So he got a massive network, massive network. And uh, he was telling the story that uh, his daughter. They had a parent and a parent day at the daughter's school. And he had to go to his daughter's school, and. Um, you know, so he went to a daughter's school. He took his daughter to school or whatever for parent day. And uh, as um, he was inside the class, the teacher asked each one of them to stand up and say what they want to be in life. What do you want to be in life? And they said when it got to his daughter, the daughter stood up and said, I want to be a, uh, I want to clean up trash. I want to pick up trash and clean up trash. And everyone looked at her like, I want to pick up trash. <laughs> like, who want to pick up trash? Look around you. We all probably rich. We all probably got it all. He said, so once, you know, the class was over, you know, that session was over, he walked up to the door and said, why do you want to pick up trash for? You know, like, hey, man, you got everything, you know, at, at, at the fingertip. You know, you got the golden spoon in your mouth, you know, so why do you want to pick up trash? And she was like, Dad, because I want to clean the world. I'm like, wow. He said that to shock me. Like, wow. Like, your daughter can have anything in life that she wants. But she wants to clean up the world. That's her purpose. And that's, and that's nothing wrong with that. But that's what's shocking, man. You'll be amazed the things that we do in life that we feel that's not appreciative. We might, you, you'll be amazed that the things that you got going on in your life, man, that no one is seeing you. But let me tell you, man, you're being seen. Somebody is seeing you. Somebody is watching you. And you you always an inspiration to somebody, man. You're an inspiration to somebody. And, you know, that's the thing about it, man. Keep pushing forward. Do not stop. I don't care what nobody say about you. I don't care what nobody feel about you. Keep pushing forward. Because remember, your legacy is based upon you. She wants to clean up trash and you got the world in your palm. Wow, man, that, that humbled me. It made me feel like, well, man, heck, man. If this young lady, who's probably eight, nine years old, man, all she want to do is pick up trash because she want to make the world a better place. Who am I? <laughs> Who is about to complain, man? You know what I mean? So with that being said, let me show you guys what I have on the back of the trailer. We can go ahead and get this Thursday over with and call it a day. Here we go. Here we go. Like I said, I weighed in about 13 or 1,400 pounds. I think a little bit over 13. So you round it off to the nearest number. Uh, it's about 1,400 pounds. But take a look at this. Everything that I got on back back here, man. And I got more to go pick up. But I won't be making another video with that today. But yeah, look at this. Take a look at all this that I have on the back of the trailer. Let's call it out, man. I got the chair up here. Got this wheelbarrow, this metal wheelbarrow. Got a grill down there. Got the exercise machine in the front up here. Got some more chairs in the front up here. Let's kind of go around to the side over here. Got this grill back here. Got the refrigerator back here. Got the stove back here. Got another refrigerator. Right now, you can see whoever left this. They took the motors out of it and dealt with the motors. Ah, bad. I wanted those motors, man, but I don't really, you know, it is what it is. I take it for what it is. 
Now let's go on the other side here. I got a dishwasher back here. Got another stove back here. Got a grill back here that's kind of propped up there. Got some metal chairs. Got a car battery down there. Got a weed eater back there. Another grill up here. If you can kind of look down in there, there's some extra little pieces of metal that's down there. Some little car parts and stuff like that. Some other little pieces of metal and so on and so on that's down here. And there's little chairs and so on and so on. So yeah, this is pretty much everything that I have for today on the back of this trailer. Like I said, I waited. I'm just going to give it a good estimated number. It's, it was probably about 1380 I'm just going to run out to 1,400 pounds. So 1,400 pound day, not bad for this Thursday. Let's get this trailer off load. Let's get this chicken collar day. Here we go. I got it all off loaded. Everything is onto the ground. I got some more wires in the back. I got some other little wires I got to cut off of here. You can see I got my wires and my batteries. A little pieces of brass and copper. Just a small little piece of it, not much of it. If you can tell here, someone already cut uh, the motors and stuff out this refrigerator, other refrigerator. So, and on the back of this, the people that gave it to me, which I'm not complaining, I take the metal. It's a little bit of wire. I'm not going to mess with it. But for the most part, everything is pretty much offloaded onto the ground. It's done. I'm done. I got one more load to go pick up. I won't be filming that video for that, but you guys be blessed. Be blessed. Have a great day. I'll catch you guys for Friday. Peace.